السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ وعلیکم السلام ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ I, Zafar Parkar, welcome you to this quiz competition, the true quest. We begin with the recitation of the glorious Quran so that this gathering is encompassed by the mercy of the most merciful, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I call upon Brother Abdul Mannan Kodia to recite the first five verses of Surah Alaq, which is chapter 96 of the glorious Quran. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اقرأ بسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم صدق الله العظيم Jazakallahu khairan, Brother Abdul Mannan, for that beautiful recitation. Now I call upon Brother Umar Ali to translate the verses for us. I seek refuge in Allah from the Satan, the accursed, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Recite in the name of your Lord who created, created man from a clinging substance. Recite, and your Lord is the most generous, who taught by the pen, taught man that which he knew not. Jazakallahu khairan, Brother Umar Ali, for translating those verses for us. So let's start. Our competitors for today's quiz are Team Elm Seekers, Brother Jasim Ansari from Standard 9th and Brother Sufyan Sheikh from Standard 8th. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Team True Achievers, Brother Mohsin Naik from Standard 8th and Brother Hamdan Sayyid from Standard 9th. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Team Trendsetters, Brother Abdul Hath Qureshi from Standard 9th and Brother Rutaab Khan from Standard 8th. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And Team Torchbearers, Brother Adnan Sheikh from Standard 9th and Brother Mustafa Danani from Standard 8th. Before we start with the quiz, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He help us emulate whatever knowledge we gain in this quiz. Ameen. So, let's begin. Our first round is about a person who we love more than ourselves and our families. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a mercy to mankind, the seal of the Prophet. From Makkah to Medina, a journey that threw every obstacle, one man against the world, a mission very daunting. In an effort to emulate the best of mankind, as Allah SWT says in Surah Ahzab, chapter number 33, verse number 21, there has certainly been for you in the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam an excellent pattern for anyone whose hope is in Allah the last day and remembers Allah often. So the rules of this round are that each team will answer as many questions as possible on the life of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the time limit of 20 seconds. Each correct answer gives you 10 marks. The team to answer the maximum number of questions within the time limit wins this round. Our timekeeper of the Abdul Mannan is seated here. Please wait for us. Jazakallahu khairan by Abdul Mannan. So, teams, gear up because this is a round requiring very quick thinking. So, we begin with the first team on my right with a round from the life of the Prophet. So, are you ready, team Ilm Seekers? Yes. 
Brother Abdul Mannan, are you ready? So, Brother Abdul Mannan is ready and we are good to go. So, your time starts now. Before arriving in Medina, where did the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam halt for a few days? Uba. Right. Name the daughter of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who passed away on the occasion of the Battle of Badr. Tukayya. Right. Name the aunt of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who was his great enemy. Uba. Right. Name the slave who brought a bunch of grapes to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on his way back to Thai. Das. Correct. MashaAllah, that was a really good effort. Four answers given correctly by Team Ilm Seekers. Moving on to the next team, Team True Achievers. Team True Achievers, are you guys ready as well? Yes. Nice confidence. Okay, Team True Achievers, your time starts now. Whose house was elected as an Islamic center in Makkah? al -Arkam. Correct. Who was sent by the Prophet وسلم, to Medina to propagate and teach Islam? Musab Umar. Correct. Where did the Prophet وسلم, stay during the social boycott? Shiba Bidani. Correct. Who was the head of the hypocrites? Abdullah ibn Ubay. Correct. I'm sorry, Team Pro Achievers, the time's up. You two answered four questions correctly in the 20 seconds. Nice try. So you are at par with them. Now, moving on to the next team, Team Trendsetters. Do you think you can do better than the other two teams? Inshallah. Inshallah. Okay, let's begin. So, Team Trendsetters, your time starts now. What was the title given to Asma bin Abu Bakr radiallahu anha by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Wrong. In whose house did the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam halt to get refreshed and have milk during his nap? Correct. Who forced his two sons to divorce the daughters of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Abu Lahab. Correct. Who used to supply milk to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Abu Bakr then in the cave of Thawb? Amir bin Fuhaira. Correct answer, but the time was up, unfortunately, so I leave it up to the jury to judge whether that answer will be counted or not. It was a nice try. Don't lose hope because there are three more rounds coming up. So moving on to the last team, Team Torch Bearers. Are you guys nervous? No. Anla, you're not nervous. Good. Confidence is a good thing. OK. So let's start. Your time starts now. Who accompanied the Prophet ﷺ on his journey to Taif? Ghazni Harissa. Correct. From the side of the Quraysh, who negotiated with the Prophet ﷺ at Hudaybiyah? Swair bin Amr. Correct. Name the companion of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who was a Persian. Salman al Farsi. Correct. For how many years did the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam stay in Makkah after becoming a Prophet? Ten years. Ten years. Wrong. That's it. Time's up for Team Torch Bearers. It was a good try. It was a good round, an exciting round, where they required quick thinking and the teams showed that in themselves. Subhanallah. So the scores are out for the first round and you can see anxiety on the faces. Okay, let's spill the beans. Team Elm Seekers with 40 points. Team True Achievers with 40 points. Team Trendsetters, 20 points. And Team Torchbearers with 30 points. That was a good try. So we continue to the next round. On the Prophets of Allah, alayhi salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 69. And whoever obeys Allah and the Messenger, those will be the ones upon whom Allah has bestowed favor of the Prophets, the steadfast affirmers of truth, the martyrs and the righteous, and excellent are those as companions. In this round, each team will be asked three questions worth 10 marks each. If the answer is incorrect, or the team is unable to answer within the time limit of 10 seconds, the question passes on to the next team. So here we go with the round best of the best. So team Elm Seekers, your first question is, from which bird did the son of Adam salam, Kabil learn the way of burying the dead? Crow. Crow, that's the right answer. The second question. Which prophet has used the pen for the first time? Idris, Idris alayhi salam. Correct answer, Idris alayhi salam. Third question, your last question. To which prophet shall Nuh alayhi salam send the people for intercession on the day of judgment? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Correct answer, Prophet Muhammad. MashaAllah, all three questions answered correctly by team Ellen Seekers. So, moving on to the second team, team True Achievers. Your first question. 
how were the people of Samud destroyed? Mighty blast. Correct answer by a mighty blast. Your second question. What did the father of Ibrahim alayhi salam threaten him with if he did not stop criticizing their gods? Time's running out. He used to stone him. Correct answer, stoning to death. The last question, under which sea are the cities to which Lut alayhi salam has been sent buried? Dead Sea. Correct answer, the Dead Sea. MashaAllah, true achievers as well have given all the three answers correctly. MashaAllah. So moving on to team trendsetters, Brother Abdullah and Brother Rutab. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Team nervous? No? Handla, okay, nice. Your first question. Which prophet is known as Zabihullah? Ismail Elisa. Correct answer. Your second question. By what word has Allah SWT described the story of Yusuf alayhi salam in the Quran? Ahsan al-Qasr. Ahsan al-Qasr, that is the right answer. The last question. On which prophet had Allah SWT caused to rain the locust of gold when he was taking a bath? Ayyub alayhi salam. Correct answer, Prophet. Ayyub alayhi salam. MashaAllah. Again, all three questions answered correctly. Moving on to Team Torchbearers. Team Torchbearers, the rest three teams have given the answers to all the three questions correctly. So this is going to be a bit tough for you. If you want to keep up with them, you too have to answer all three correctly. Are you ready for it? Yes. Okay. Let me fire the question. Your first question. Who told Musa alayhi salam, I am your greatest lord? Pharaoh. Pharaoh or Pharaoh, correct. Who was caused from the nation of Musa alayhi salam to sink in the earth with his belongings and wealth? Harun. Harun, that's the correct answer. Your last question, you have to answer this correctly if you have to keep up with them. Okay? So, what thing had Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made soft for Dawood alayhi salam? Iron. MashaAllah, iron is the correct answer and this is a perfect round where all the teams have given all the answers correctly. That was a perfect round. Subhanallah. So I would like to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he blesses them in their knowledge. Ameen. What rights and responsibilities do relatives have on each other? Are we required by Sharia to spend on our kins? What can you do if your kins are severing ties with you? What rights do non-Muslims have on their Muslim relatives? This is Ahmed ibn Saif al -Din asking you to be with me when I discuss these issues and more in my series, Kins, Rights and Responsibilities, here on Peace TV. Appreciate the vision of Islam that has put the provisions to ensure the sustainability of strong intimacy amongst relatives in kin's rights and responsibilities today at 7 p.m. and repeat telecast at 12 p.m. Saudi Arabia on Peace TV. Muhammad, peace be Pearls of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Narrated. Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, may peace be upon him, said, There are two blessings which many people lose. They are health and free time for doing good. Sahih Al-Bukhari, Volume 8, Book of Softening of Hearts, Hadith Number 6412. Where truth is hidden, misleading quotations create confusion. Where truth is hidden, lack of knowledge and wisdom cause upheaval and commotion. Where truth is hidden, manipulate scriptures and twisted facts emerge. This very hidden truth 
creates false propaganda, mayhem, chaos, disorder, and turmoil in our lives and the world order. But is there anyone with courage and wisdom? What is the truth? And who has the courage to expose it? Because it's your right to know the truth. Right. Watch Truth Prevail and Lies Perish in Truth Exposed by Dr. Zakir Naik next on Peace TV. Abdul Manan to please hand over the scorecard. Okay, so I don't think there is any need to tell the score, I think, because everyone has answered all questions correctly. So, of course, team Ilm Seekers, 30 points, team True Achievers, 30 points, team Trendsetters, 30 points, and team Torchbearers, 30 points. MashaAllah, keep up the good work. So, let's move on to the next round, the third round. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 54. Say, obey Allah and obey the messenger. But if you turn away, then upon him is only that duty with which he has been charged. And upon you is that with which you have been charged. And if you obey him, you will be guided. And there is not upon the messenger except the responsibility of clear notification. So verily the success in this dunya and the akhirah is in following the footsteps of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And so this is the round of hadith enactment. Within a time limit of two minutes, a member from each team will pick up a chit and enact out the hadith which is written on that chit. And the partner has to guess the hadith. So the rules are that if you guess the hadith correctly but without the proper wording, you will be given 20 marks. If you guess the hadith and paraphrase it, you will be given 40 marks. And if you guess the hadith with the proper wording, then you get a full 50 marks. This is a golden opportunity to score many points and get ahead of the competition. So teams, put on your creative hats. So let's begin with the round, Pearls of Wisdom. Team Elm Seekers. Who is going to enact out the hadith? Brother Sufyan Sheikh is stepping up. You may take one chair. Okay, your time starts now. Smiling. Your smile. Your brother, your smile at your brother. Brother Sufyan is trying really hard. Your smile at your brother is a charity. Subhanallah, mashallah, that was the hadith that your smile for your brother is charity and it was correctly guessed by Brother Jasim Mansari. So I think that's a full 50 marks for you there. I would like to point out that this hadith shows us the importance of small deeds in Islam. That how even smiling at your brother is charity. Even the act of removing an obstacle from the path is an act of charity in Islam and it can have great rewards as well. So moving on to the next team, team True Achievers. Who is going to enact out the hadith? Brother Mohsen Naik, pick a chit. First word, best, second word, each one of you, among you, best among you, book, Quran. Best among you are the one recite the Quran 
Brother Hamdan is getting really close. The best among you are the one who recite the Quran and teach it to others. Can you please? Brother Hamdan, can you please repeat? Best among you are those who recite the Quran and teach it, it to others. So, Brother Mohsin, can you please take your seat? Yeah. So, uh, Brother Hamdan has guessed some of the wordings correct. The hadith is the best among you, that is best among the Muslims, are those who learn the Quran and teach it. So, I'll leave it up to the jury to judge how much marks can be awarded for that. And it shows us the importance of the Quran. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa also said that, Inna Allah yarfa'u bihad al-kitabi aqwama. That verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise the status of people, of a qawm, with this book. So I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are among those people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raises the status because of the Quran. Ameen. Moving on to the third team, team trend setters. So, Brother Abdullah, had your time starts now. Me. Muslim. Hammer. Batsman. Player. Bat. Ball. Those are some contrasting expressions. Player. Play. Brother Abdullah seeming tense. Brother Rutab is smiling. Yes. Next act. Try harder. The clock's ticking down. The clock's not going to wait for you. Ball. Boundary. Four, six. This is a hadith, not a cricket quiz. M Muslim person, pers personality. Brother Abdullah trying really hard, but then he has to try harder. Seconds left. Game. Cricket. Times up. Times up. Team. Trendsetters. That was. I think if we were going to judge this round on effort, I think they would score the highest marks. Serious because that was a really hard effort, but unfortunately, Brother Rutab could not guess the hadith. The hadith was that the real patience is at the first stroke of calamity. So finally, moving on to team torch bearers, the final team, who is picking up the chit from you? Brother Adnan. So, Brother Adnan and Brother Mustafa, the time starts now. Globe, world. That was a really quick answer. Handcuff. Prison. The world is a prison. Prayer. Believer. The world is a prison for the believer. Half of the hadith guessed correctly. And paradise. 
Jinnah. For whom? You're really close. The disbelievers. The world is a present for the believers and the Jannah for the disbelievers. MashaAllah, the hadith was guessed correctly with the correct wordings. The world is a prison for the believers and a paradise for the disbelievers. Send me a peace or I am lost for sure. Oh Lord, here I am yearning for your cure. This